Can y'all hear my cat? Hey, what's up guys? It's Spencer. So this is sort of an extension of my last video, if you haven't seen it yet, about kind of going to the gym, and being a beginner in the gym, and being trans in the gym, and just kind of getting the confidence to like go into the gym and work out. But I wanted to go kind of more into depth on that, on like actual workouts <laughs> and actual like making gains in the gym instead of just getting into the gym. So let's go. So the number one key to making gains in the gym is going to be having good form in all of your exercises and all of your movements. You want to strive to have just like the best form possible. Not only does that mean looking up your exercise and how to properly execute it and how like what you should be squeezing, what you should be focusing on, but also getting a good stretch in your muscle. Like so say we're at a bench press. You want to have, of course, the good form of having your butt on the seat and your feet on the ground and your shoulders back and your chest, you know, out and ready. But then when you lower the bar down, you want to get it low enough to where you're getting a good stretch in your muscle that you're using. So that's your chest. You want to get a good stretch. And then when you're pushing it, you're going to want to like squeeze your chest basically. And you push it all the way up and then you squeeze can you continue to squeeze get a really good contraction with that muscle squeeze it for about a second and then lower it down again with your chest slowly back into that stretch and that's one rep so notice how i said slowly you want to have controlled reps with slow negatives so the negative is when you're lowering the rep back down into the starting position after you've you know lifted it or whatever you know after you've curled it whatever you're doing with the weight when you're lowering it back down into its starter position that's your negative you want to do that really slow and controlled you don't just want to swing your arm down because that's whole half of your movement is resisting that weight back on the way down so if you just swing your arm down you're not resisting that weight and you're losing half of what the exercise is supposed to give you the second key to gaining muscle is going to be progressive overload in your movements so say again we're at the bench press the first day you go and you do four sets of four reps at 60 pounds next time you do your bench press you're going to want to do four sets at five reps at 60 pounds and then after that you're gonna add another rep and another rep and so you get to the end of your rep range whether that be you know eight or ten or twelve or whatever whatever you're doing and then you're gonna go back to the beginning and add five more pounds so you're gonna be at 65 pounds and move it four five six reps you know as you go back to the gym and as the weeks go by and that's gonna make you stronger and it's gonna force the muscle to grow so along with this good form and this progressive overload you're gonna want to focus on frequency so when you're trying to grow your muscle the best frequency to hit that muscle group is going to be two to three times a week. So for beginners, I always recommend doing a workout routine that is one day on, one day off, and you work your full body every day. So you do a whole bunch of exercises like the shoulder press, the bench press, the uh, squat, deadlift, um, chest dips, pull-ups, that sort of thing every day. You're going to take one day on and one day off and being a beginner you're actually going to get these things called beginner gains which is when your muscle is going to grow very fast and you're also going to be able to lose fat at the same time which doesn't happen at any other point in your weight loss journey it won't happen <laughs> once your body is used to the stimulus it's not going to lose fat but you're still going to gain the muscle as long as you're eating to gain and then when you start eating to lose weight you can lose the fat again i'll find some good beginner workouts and link them below so all those exercises i mentioned like the pull up the deadlift the bench press all that stuff those are called compound lifts and what that means is that it makes you use more than one muscle set in your body so in a bench press you're using yes mostly your chest but you're also supporting the weight with your shoulders and your tricep when you're doing these compound lifts you want to focus on great form and a good muscle contraction if you can get that with this lift uh, sometimes with things like the deadlift you can't really contract your muscles so with compound lifts it's good to practice the 80 20 rule which means that 80 percent of your workout should be compound movements and only 20 percent should be isolation movements especially if you want to get bigger stop overdoing your cardio because cardio 
you don't need it. <laughs> you really don't need it to lose fat as long as you are still being active and still lifting weights. But if you like cardio or you want to do cardio, you can easily get it easily get enough cardio for the week in just one or two days that you're not lifting and that's not a rest day. And last but not least, make sure you're taking appropriate rest times. That means taking rest times in between sets. 45 seconds to a minute and a half is usually what I shoot for. Y'all might want to shoot for two minutes if you're just starting out because uh, the frequency of my workout, or sorry, the intensity of my workout is going to be higher because I've been in the gym longer and I've been working out longer. Um, but shooting for an appropriate rest time and then timing it to make sure that you're not taking too long is very important for muscle growth. You should also be taking the appropriate rest days every week and not doing any exercise that day. That means no cardio, no, you know, oh, I'm just gonna go for a jog, no eight mile run, nothing like that. Just take an actual day to let your muscles heal, keep eating appropriately, sleep enough every single night, at least eight hours, because that is when your muscle is rebuilding itself and actually growing. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave me a like and a comment, or if you like me, subscribe or something. Um, I'm going to be putting out more fitness videos. Uh, next week, I'm going to be doing a video on my diet, my bulking diet specifically. So keep an eye out for that, and let's go make these gains. See you guys later.